I'm George Spaeth. I'm the Esposito Research Professor of Ophthalmology at Will's Eye Institute, which is affiliated with Jefferson Medical College. And I'm a physician, a surgeon, and my particular subspecialty is glaucoma. This is an exciting venture for me. It's been a successful one, but it really is very personal in many ways. My father was an ophthalmologist, and he wrote what was the first major textbook of ophthalmic surgery, and it was accepted around the world. And it was called uh, Principles and Practice of Ophthalmic Surgery. And it went through four editions, and it was kind of the Bible. I had a great deal of respect, I have a great deal of respect for my father. He was a pioneer, he was a wonderful father, tough, but wonderful father. Well, as I was moving along, I thought, maybe it's my time to write a book on surgery. But I didn't want to be exactly the same, so rather than principles and practice of ophthalmic surgery, we changed it around the way, ophthalmic surgery, principles and practice. And um, so that was the origin of the first version, first edition, which was uh, in the acknowledgement it mentions my father. And the book was well received. It was rather like his and it was comprehensive, but it was also focused in that the goal was not to talk about irrelevant things and frilly surgery, but the, the surgical procedures that competent ophthalmologists had to know how to do. And to describe them sufficiently well that the surgeons could learn that really just from the book. Now, of course, you have to have a mentor and you have to have somebody work with you. But in many places of the world, mentors aren't easy to come by. So we wanted this to be adequately comprehensive and very specific. Yes, and for example, consider the area in which, as I mentioned, I'm most familiar with glaucoma. Now, there are lots of glaucoma operations, but there's some that you really have to be able to do, and you want to do well if you're going to be a good glaucoma surgeon. You have to do a trabeculectomy. Nowadays, you have to do a tube shunt procedure. You have to do something for little kids with glaucoma, and often tubes or trabs don't work in kids as the first procedure. Uh, and they're more traumatic. So you need something which is less traumatic, such as a goniotomy or a trabeculotomy. Now, as, with, as we were going through this, we opted in the early editions to pick out just trabeculotomy because goniotomy is really specialized. It's not the sort of procedure that most ophthalmologists ever learn to do and don't really need to do because these are rare cases. But a trabeculotomy is a modification of a trabeculectomy. So that was, we need to cover that so it's comprehensive, but not unnecessarily so. So that was the basic principle that was behind the, the selection of the procedures. I've been very lucky all along in that the people I've worked with in the publishing house have been lovely to work with. Publishing a textbook is not an easy thing. Uh, it takes a lot of collaboration, a lot of organization, uh, encouragement, skill, and Elsevier has been uh, very nice to work with. I, I've enjoyed it a great deal. Being able to see well is a nice thing for mothers to be able to watch their children grow, for fathers to see their sons outdo them in sports, for anybody to be able to see 
is a lovely and mysterious and wonderful thing. Trying to put together a text that will help people, help others to do that, is a worthwhile project.